internationally known for his handcrafted cheeses, which earned the title of the world's best cheddar and also labeled the finest cheddar on the planet by Oprah, John Fiscalini's success didn't happen overnight. In fact, you might say the seeds of success were planted long before he was born. My grandfather actually started here in 1912. Um, my great-grandfather came from Switzerland in 1886 and went to Southern California. And my grandfather was born there and came here in 1912 and started the, the farm. So we have been in the dairy business ever since then. When it was John's turn to take over the family farm, he decided to pursue a longtime dream of his, make farmstead raw milk cheese, just like his ancestors. But the neat thing about raw milk cheeses is the, the good bacteria that are present in the cow's milk are expressed. They're not killed during the pasteurization process. So we get a couple of little subtle additional flavors in our cheeses that most cheddars wouldn't have. The dream became a reality in the year 2000 when John added a cheese plant to his 530 acres of land and began making traditional European cheese, two white cheddars and a hard rind cheese. Cheese so incredibly good that the Fiscalinis have proof it really is the best cheese in the world a first place trophy and several gold medals from the World Cheese Awards in London. To win a cheddar award on British soil is pretty special since they are the definitive cheddar makers in the world. But if it had not been for Mariano Gonzalez, a master cheesemaker from South America, their award winning cheeses might not have turned out as well as they did. On his first attempt at cheese making in 2000, John admits he and his then cheesemaker were pretty new to the game. He laughs about what's now his gold medal mistake. So we made this batch of cheese called Fontina. We thought we were making Fontina. We, we truly expected that it was. We even had a label design for it. And you know, we, we knew it tasted pretty good, so we thought it was Fontina. And then um, I had the opportunity to interview Mariano Gonzalez, my current cheesemaker. And he came here and, and visited and we talked and we were so happy to show him this cheese and we said, hey Mariano, you've got to try this, this is our Fontina. Ah, uh, this is not Fontina. And he said, yes, it's Fontina. My cheese maker says Fontina. So he looked at me, he looked at his cheese maker and says, okay, which one are you lying? <laughs> Mariano went back and refined the recipe, creating San Joaquin Gold. The San Joaquin Gold is a natural rind cheese. It's aged about 16 months. It has a nutty, buttery taste, and it has a, a wonderful melting quality to it, So, as well as snacking on this cheese. Mostly made by hand, it takes about a thousand gallons of milk to make the artisan cheddar. Stacking slabs of cheese on top of each other is called the cheddaring process. It's eventually cut into curds, salted, and packed into metal containers, where over the next 24 to 48 hours, it'll be compressed into a cheese wheel. The cheese after it's made come in this room, we call it a turning room, and this part of the process is to flip this cheese every day for two months while we stabilize the milk and develop the cheese mold. And this rack will flip four wheels in one time. So this is the way it goes. What I'm doing right now is just a quick examination, um, sensory evaluation of the cheese, um, looking for how open it is, the texture of the cheese, or um, for aroma and flavor. While most of us dread the thought of aging, it's a wonderful thing in the cheese business. The longer cheese is aged, the richer flavor it develops. It looks fantastic. It's going to go for another six months. Yeah, a friend of mine said when uh, we start developing this cheese, he says, what a Paraguayan is doing in the United States making an English cheese. Can you explain me that mixed? <laughs>